Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to do a brief review on Jolly Gingerbread Village since I've had an opportunity to kind of wear it, find some layering um, mist from Bath & Body Works that you could layer with these as well and get some kind of idea of my thoughts on this scent. Let's go ahead and get into it. And first off, I'd like to say that these are my opinions. My opinions only. I can't really speak for anyone else, but this is just how I feel about it, okay? So after wearing this, I really feel that this is more of a unisex type of fragrance, okay? Now, it does have a gingerbread scent. The notes in it are golden gingerbread, vanilla icicles, yuletide timber. The Yuletide Timber to me gives it just a hint of masculinity, although I would not say it is over masculine. A female or male could definitely wear this in my opinion. It's not a decadent treat, not a decadent gingerbread loaf or de decadent gingerbread cookie. It's nothing like that. There's a hint of gingerbread. I would say it's like a gingerbread cookie, but there's no icing on it, okay? Uh, it's still good, however, it is not what you might think it is, and a lot of people mentioned this when they first sniffed it, although I think it is still good. Now, I've come across a couple of body mists that I have enjoyed wearing with this fragrance. Now, you can make it decadent by just adding the Happy Birthday Body Mist, and this is a vanilla buttercream, and it's so good. When you add vanilla vanilla buttercream to the mix of Jolly Gingerbread Village, you get a very decadent sweet dessert, a gingerbread dessert with buttercream frosting. And it's so good. I really like this combo. So vanilla buttercream is a little bit too much for you, a little too decadent, a little too heavy at Christmas cookies. It gives the same vibe of a luscious treat without being too indulgent, without being too sugary sweet. It really makes a good combo. I like the Christmas cookies as well. Just as nice, just not as sweet. For you girlies who are into more unisex fragrances, this is really good. Chasing fireflies, I know it's unexpected. But it adds a totally different dimension to Jolly Gingerbread Village. And I think it is so good. The woods in this come together so pretty. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, you can really get the chasing fireflies in this. Maybe with the hint of the ginger. But mostly, it's the woods. But paired together, this combo is really pretty. Chasing fireflies... It's a good one if you love unisex. So after Chasing Fireflies, you know I had to give Fairy Tale a whirl, okay? This one is just as pretty, but not as masculine, okay? This one is actually just more of a pretty one. The combo together is really nice. It's not as masculine, although I do think I prefer Chasing Fireflies over Fairy Tale. But this is still good. I'm loving them wrapped in vanilla, okay? This one is so good to me. But it's definitely not like having the buttercream icing. It's just, just the perfect amount of sweetness to add. It's not a decadent treat, but it's a sweet treat, okay? This one is for those of you who may like a lighter sweet type of ginger bread or something okay this is perfect if you have these two give them a try i think this is my favorite for the vanillas so i wanted to try the vanilla bean noel as well and it's okay it's not bad of course if you only have this vanilla it will work it's nothing like wrapped in vanilla though i don't know it's just not as sweet and it just doesn't combine as well but it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. It does add a hint of vanilla to the combo and it makes it nice. So don't get me wrong. This one is good, but wrapped in vanilla is better, in my opinion. Adding together weather 
to Jolly Gingerbread Vi Village is very unique, okay? It has the cardamom in it that made me want to pair it with the ginger. It's nice. I won't say it's pretty, but it's something about it. I can't stop smelling it. I do like it. It's just very unique. You have to try it. It's just one of those. It's okay, but it's not bad, but it's okay. If you're looking for a perfume to layer, try adding Killian's Princess. That is a pretty one too. It has ginger as well as some lemon, some peach, apple. It's a really pretty scent. The combination is nice, very soft, very smooth. And that's Killian Princess. This layer is so pretty. Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth. Girl, it has that candied ginger. I don't know, the marshmallows, everything. This combo is beautiful. You have to try it. Another good one to add is Commodity Milk, okay? You guys know this has a, a lot of smoky, woody notes in it, but it also has that marshmallow and the milk. It just combines really pretty. I like this combination a lot. It gives it depth. I would say Commodity Milk gives Jolly Bread Ginger Jolly Gingerbread Village a definite depth that it wouldn't have otherwise. It smells really nice. Yeah, I like that combo. How can we not add Billie Eilish? This one is one of the sweetest combos, you guys. It's just super sweet and soft. I love the vanilla chocolate spicy note that goes with this one with the Jolly Gingerbread Village. It's just a really good combination. It almost seems like they go together naturally. The Commodity Milk one is good too, but it's more of a smoky vibe. It's more of a smoky vanilla, which is good too. I like all of these so beautiful you can't go wrong i almost left out karma and then i'm like no i've got to put that in there because with the ginger you know that this karma it has notes of nutmeg and cinnamon all of those spices combined so beautifully this is a good combo it's heavy dense very rich perfect for winter if you're that type of beast mode girl, this is a combo for you. So I'm sure there's a whole lot more that you could add and combine with Jolly Gingerbread Village that would be beautiful. But these are just a few I'd like to come up with and just share with you that I've enjoyed wearing. If you like this type of video, please make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see singled out body mist on how to layer them. And I'll do that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you're subscribed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.